Hi everybody. Um, here to show you a very simple technique which um, testing forward testing from uh, two months here uh, from October 7th to the to December 9th. Uh, it, it seems to be 100% accurate um, predicting gold uh, US dollar uh, using 30 minute bars um, and MT4 data. So um, the way I have Q spectrum set up, and this is just a Q spectrum method, um, is to have the RPO at 20,000, um, SM at 3, and the FSM at 1 and overtones at 1. And let me just erase this here. Um, and because I'm working, I'm thinking about one week segments, one week increments. Um, I have this set up between 3.7 days and 5.6 days, or 170 30 minute bars to 260. So I'll hit calculate. And auto select. Um, let me just show the, so for those of you not familiar with the timing solution, um, the pink area is invisible. I can hide the, the data with this button here. Um, but the program is not seeing the data from to the right here of this uh, learning border cursor, it's called the LBC. Um, <clears throat> so here we have uh, pretty good. Um, catching every swing and so let's just keep moving along. So I reset the LBC, calculate again, erase everything. Auto selection and let's just take a look again. Um, and it's absolutely couldn't be better. Swing up, swing down, and swing up. Reset the LBC and recalculate. So it's just in one week segments using two, all 250 bars. Actually, it goes back further, but all I'm thinking about is the next 250 bars. Erase that auto selection. Now, let's see here. Um, how do we know when to invert? Um, so notice uh, on this recalculation, the swing high is opposite to the swing low. And also, um, price is heading up quickly on Friday, but we're seeing this sharp downswing. So that's a sure indication that you'd then turn this to the opposite, plus 100 in this case. And let's see how we did. Swing down, perfect, hit the bottom, swing up and down. Um, so just moving right along, just keep going. Uh, take you right to the current day. Um, calculate. Auto select the swing high, bringing down. Um, let's take a look here. Okay, we swing up, down, and then a sharp move up. Again, um, bring this in, recalculate. And auto select. Um, once again, swing down. Beautiful. And up to this high. Uh, one thing I want to mention at this point is 
Um, Friday price action sometimes is perfectly in line with the curve, sometimes not. And here's a case where it continues upward a little bit. Um, and the answer to that is a couple things, is to recalculate for Friday um, or to bring in an astronomy module that's, that's um, short term, like a moon moon, that works too. Or um, just keep an eye on things, but uh, anyhow, let's keep going. Auto select once again. Couldn't be better. We catch that perfect high here and down. This is uh, Thanksgiving week, uh, week of November 21st. Take that away. Okay, this is swinging down, this is down, P caught this low perfectly again, and up. Okay, looking good. And this was an odd week too because New York traders were uh, absent basically starting at Wednesday afternoon uh, through the weekend. Okay, reset. Recalculate. This is um, an interesting thing. I see this up action at the end, um, and uh, my sense is to invert this here to match this price action. And let's take a look. Uh, so this was uh, sideways action for that first swing, but it took us up to this high beautifully again. And finally, the current week, which I haven't loaded data for. So let me set this forward again, recalculate. Um, and it's showing a downswing uh, through Tuesday at 1900 and then up till Friday and then at this point I would find an alternate means to recalculate. Um, so let me bring in a chart of my VPS here and that's what we've got down through 1900 on Tuesday, up through Friday, and then like that other example, I drifted upward, up and down for the rest of the Friday. Um, but you can keep an eye on that or figure out another way to uh, calculate what's going to happen. So that's it. Um, good luck. Um, it's pretty incredible that we've got 100% for each week. Um, and uh, I'd like to hear your feedback if you check this out. Anyway, take care. See you in the next one.